Welcome to our brand new series on Nimby Rails, but we are going to be rebuilding the entire National Rail Network. We're going down on this in alphabetical order. Today is A for Vanty West Coast. Let's get into it. So as we've already done the Elizabeth Line, the London Oak Ground, and the Thames Link, and they're all both operated by National Rail, I have ported over those three lines over onto our National Rail series. So for today's episode of Vanty West Coast, we're going to go down into London Euston. So to start off today, I am going to be putting in a brand new section into London Houston just here and we're gonna put these platforms in about 220 meters what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try squeeze as close as I can to the current one here and just get rid of that ending in there so now from here we're going to curve this out and we're gonna tunnel under this and then we're just going to follow our way out of here I'm also going to just add in a little section into there and then I'm going to put this underneath here and then just have the main line just traveling alongside the overground here. So it's just going to go all the way across. I'm going to go underneath Kensal Green here and curve back up and just go round and just straight through Wilson Junction like this. And then come through Wembley Central. And then I'm gonna curve this underneath to make it go along this side. So then we're just going to go as far as possible around here. And then we're going to curve in. I'm gonna put in a separate platform and then another platform up here. So here we want to go into platform three and four because it's the passing track. And from there we're just gonna go straight through. Now we're gonna go back down towards Kenton and then we're just going to curve off a track and then this would be used for platform five and six. And we're gonna come out just like here and then we're just gonna curve back onto the main line. And from here, we're just going to go over that road and we're going to continue following on just something like this. Because we're going to continue going up all the way up towards Watford Junction. And we're at Bushy now. I'm going to go underneath that road and we're just going to go along something like this this and then come into Watford Junction and something like this. I'm also going to put in another platform just to help ease with congestion when that happens. Which means I'm just going to put in just another bit here. And I'm just going to curve it off here and then into its own separate tunnel. And our next station will be Mills and Keynes Central, which will be in just here. So we're gonna put in one platform just in here, another platform just here, and then just a separate platform over here. And from Watford Junction, we're going to have to figure our own way all the way over to Milton Keynes. I'm coming around on this track here. I've messed that one up a little bit. That's fine, because we can just go back and just fix that. I'm putting myself on this further track, because I know the West Midlands operates down this side as well. So I'm going to just leave plenty space for the stations like Kings Langley here. So then I'm just going to go across and over and then underneath. And then here at Appsleep, there are two platforms. So we're going to just put that into one of the platforms and just try figure out a way to get into there. From here, we're gonna go back over to the right side of the track and we're just gonna continue going down and we're going to go straight past Hemel Hempstead Station here. And we're gonna go continue up here and then bridge over this little river and then continue straight all the way.
and we're going to just continue down and through past Berkhamsted and then come up around here so we're going to continue going up through here we're going to curve around through Trident Station and from here we're going to just keep it going so then go around up over bridge and over Seabrook through Chedding through Cheddington here and I'm gonna continue just going up like this and then through and straight past Leighton Buzzard and then from here we're going to curve Round. I'm gonna keep going and then we're going to pretty much edge straight towards this little bit of a stream here and we're going to go across like here and come underneath that motorway and come straight past Bletchley up here so we're gonna do something like this and then we have one more station just up here which will be Milton Keynes so we're going to go in a tunnel through here and then across all of here and into this platform here at Milton Keynes Central and now from Milton Keynes Central we're going to come across and we're going to go heading straight for Wolverton Station which will be just up here we're going to bridge over first and then we're going to come into this small gap here and then come up something like this now our next station will be rugby station which will be about across about here and now we need to get straight all the way over to rugby because there is no stations in the way and now we're going to head on over here i'm going to go straight through castle thorpe here and then come up and just across through here past Ashton and through road and then here this would be the main line up to Northampton but we're going to be on a set for a line around about here where we're gonna curve off of that main line and continue like that i'm also going to make it so like there's two lines going down that way as well i'm also going to also do something similar here I'm also going to have just the middle lane just going straight through. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this all out of the video so you don't have to watch me do this little section over again. And now from here what I'm going to do is we're going to just figure out a way all the way over to rugby station i didn't actually know you could get rid of the info box until now but that is all good so we're currently not going over the river but instead we're just going straight across here so i'm just going to go underneath that road for now and we're gonna curve underneath all that and then come up through Whedon junction and we're curving through like this and then here we need another tunnel just like this and then we're coming along all this here and then here we're going to bridge over and then we're just going to follow the motorway here up to about here and we're going to bridge over this little river and then tunnel under that and from here we're going to go pretty much in a line kind of like this and then we're gonna come up around like this and then across this other one and then up through here and then from here we're going to bridge once again over small little rivers and then this will be the main line into rugby station so we're going to come into that platform there and after rugby station the next station will be coventry station so i'm going to put in one platform just over here and another one just here for this little curve of track here so we will be using this line just out of coventry but it shouldn't take long considering coventry is only about 14 minutes away from rugby so we're going to come down through here i think when i do 
the other train lines, I will make it merge into just one track down between Coventry and Rugby. And of course, I need to build a bridge. I press plus one and it doesn't do it. So we're going to just continue going all the way down here and we will need to go across that little small road. Yep, somehow I can go across. I can't go across a small road, but I can go across a massive motorway. Make that one make sense. But from here, we are just going to continue going all the way down. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have this go up here because it does seem like there is a station down there so i'm just going to move them up a little bit just like that now after coventry the next station will be birmingham international so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in the platform roughly around here what i'm also going to do is i'm going to add in extra platforms mainly because I've been to Birmingham International so I know what the platforms kind of look like. So from here we're going to continue going along the main line here. So we're going to continue going down the main line here and we're just going to go straight past Canley Station because Avanti West Coast do not serve it just like we don't serve Tile Hill. And we're going to continue just coming straight down through here curve up round past Berkswell and then tunnel underneath that motorway and then come straight all the way up past Hampton in Ardell and then our next station will be Birmingham International which will be in just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of Birmingham International and we're going to go straight up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to just tunnel under Moss and Green for now. Just because it's a bit easier to do it like that. Uh, we're going to come up straight past Lee Hall. And then we're going to come round up past Stickford. And then we're going to come just zooming straight through. Just like this. And the station we would want is Birmingham New Street and Birmingham New Street is just in this spot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in quite a few platforms here. And we're going to come around just like this and come around like up like that. Birmingham Mall Street is just here but I'm not going to add it in just yet because we will find that on the Chilton Railways. Now, after completing the London Euston to Birmingham New Street, I'm going to be doing the London Euston to Manchester Piccadilly. Now, this one is going to come through Stoke-on-Trent, so what we will have to do is come down to Rugby, because we're going to be using the most highest platform here, because we will be curving off around about here and coming up here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following this one main line all the way over towards Nun Eaton. We're not going to be stopping there though because we're going straight to Stoke on Trent via Nun Eaton. So I'm going to just continue going around this countryside and then I was just going to say that looks like we're going into busy like city like but maybe not. We're going to need to bridge over that. Now this looks like a busy city here and I would be correct because we are now putting just past Nuneaton now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come straight out of Nuneaton and we're just going to go straight along this bit here. We should be following this main line because there are other stations around just like other stone here. So I'm going to just tunnel underneath all of it so I don't have to deal with having to go all the way around it so we're just now going to come around and then come back over the river and also this one too and then this station here will be Polesworth so I'm just going to bridge over the station just like this and then just stay on this side for a while until we get to the next station which this station will be Tamworth According to the Avanti West Coast map, we do actually stop at Tamworth and we will also be stopping at the next station of Litchfield Trent Valley, which will be just hitting shortly up here. So we're going to go straight past Haydmore 
and come across huddles for junction i'm just going to tunnel underneath all of it so i don't have to keep doing elevation changes and i'm going to come around and into litchfield trent valley there now from litchfield we are going to continue going up so we're just going to use this track and we are going to go straight through and up just something like this i'm gonna quickly tunnel under that road and tunnel under that road and then bridge over this river and then you guessed it bridge over this river and we're going to come around and pass originally trent valley now from here we're going to just continue going through so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put myself a little bit higher up so from here i can curve off just like this i'm also going to do this so at least when i come back and do this section i actually can so from here it should be one direct route all the way up to stoke on trent so we're gonna come something like this and then come underneath this motorway and then come through just by the river here as per usual i'm gonna come up around like so we're going to go across like this and then come up and around and there's pretty much no way in skipping this so we're just going to go straight through stone station and i've rebuilt that extra platform at stone just so it's a higher level and so at least when trains do go past they won't actually hit each other but for now we're going straight all the way over to stoke on trent so we're going to come straight through this little gap in here so we're going to come around and we're coming straight around in here we're going to tunnel underneath this bit and we're going to pop back out and in this gap here will be stoke on trent station just going to put in two there and then we're just going to put that in like that and the next station we will be arriving at will be macclesfield station so we're going to put in at macclesfield station which is about here because we won't be needing to go all through underneath all of this bit here but we're going to go all the way back over to stoke on trent because we need to start off from all the way over here first we're going to bridge over this river and we're going to go all the way across this tiny little stream that this game is struggling to build over now our first station is coming up here which is longport but we will not be stopping in here so we're going to come straight past that so we're going to come round through into this gap here and then we're going to come straight into a tunnel here and then we're going to come over into a bridge like that so i can do something like this i'm actually going to move this a little bit further back so at least it follows that kind of like the line there and I'm also going to move this over a little bit just to give a little bit more space for West Midland trains. But from here, what we're going to do is we're going to continue through just something like this. So we're going to continue through something just like this. And this will be Congleton up here, which we will be going straight past. We're going to be needing to bridge over this. And then we're going to come around and bridge over these two. I'm also just going to move this a little bit over like that. So at least I can come over and do something like from here. So I'm just going to very quickly go back all the way over to Macclesfield. Just so I can get this part here done and do something like this come around and come all the way down here so then from here we're just going to come in a straight line pretty much and then come down just like that so now we have two more stations to do we have stockport and manchester piccadilly so now we've got macclesfield done we're going to come into stockport station just down there I'm going to put in the stations in just in here. So I'm going to do something just like that. And we will be using this platform just here. So I'm just going to put that through 
all like that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set it up just like that so the other two lines have a bit more space. So from Stockport we will be coming in straight through here. So that means we will be using this entire section of the line and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just curve around the station here just so we don't have to stop there. So we're going to come back over to Macclesfield and we're going to curve off the line just about here. I'm going to come back up there and we're going to go onto a viaduct. But what we're also going to do is have a separate line which we will be using. So this one is the one we will be using to go all the way up to Manchester Piccadilly. So we're going to continue following this main line up to Manchester Piccadilly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bridge over all of these. Just to go straight past Addison here. And then we're going to turn all that under there. And we're going to continue going straight round. And then here I'm just going to tunnel underneath. And we go straight past Poynton like that. And then we're going to come around and straight past the Bram Hall. And then from here we're just going to connect up to the line we built here originally. So now we've got all the way up to Stockport done. So now that we've Stockport done, we are going all the way up to Manchester Piccadilly, which is located in this space just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a whole bunch of platforms just in here for now. So we're going to come straight back over to Stockport. I'm going to go into a tunnel. It seems like we go into a tunnel until all the way up here where we emerge back out. We're going to skip straight past Heaton Chapel. And from here we're going to go and follow all of this up so we're going to just tunnel under that road which is kind of dumb and then we're going to come round and tunnel under that one and then from here we go into the middle of manchester piccadilly so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to do this so at least when i come back to manchester piccadilly i can fix all of that Now we have London Euston all the way up to Birmingham New Street and London Euston all the way up to Manchester Piccadilly. Now we've got both of them done, we are going to go all the way back down to Little Hayward over here because we're going to be doing the Liverpool Lime Street. So first up, we're going to just tunnel underneath all of this. So for now, our next station will be Stafford Station over here. So I'm going to be using the top platform here. And so I'm going to come back over to Hadrian's Arch over here. So we're going to come around like this. And we're going to just go along the riverbank here. All the way up to Stafford Station. So we're going to have to curve around here. Bridge over those two. And then start just zooming all the way down here like this. Now we're into Stafford Station. Now after that, next station will be Crew Station. Which will be in this spot just here. Just like that. And from Crew, we're going to be using the pretty much straight line up there towards Liverpool Lime Street. But before we focus on that, we're going to go back down to Stafford because we need to finish off this line first. So here we're just going to bridge over that bit and then we're going to come straight through here and through Great Bridgeford and then it appears that we bridge round and through up here and then we come through here and after Norton Bridge we're going to come curving around like here and then coming up here 
and just across like that. And from here, we're going to just stay fairly close to this river here. So we're just going to stay pretty much straight here. I'm going to go by stable foot here. And then we're going to follow this line here. I'm going to go through Baldwin's Gate. And then straight up. And just follow all of this line here. And then from here, we pretty much just stay on a straight line. So we're just going to continue going all the way up through here and from about here we're actually just going to start curving off because we need to go over to crew station i am going to fix what i just did up there so i'm going to put that into there so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to have this come across something like this and after crew the next station will be run corn which will be just here so this just seems like a pretty easy route. Just come through here. And then we're just going to go underground for those two. I'm going to come around. I know I'm kind of doing this one in kind of reverse, but it kind of looked the easiest. So we're going to just follow up all of this. I'm going to just continue going around like here, where here we're going to cross the river. And we're going to just come beside Winsford here. But we're just going to go straight past as we are not stopping here, but we are stopping at Runcorn, which is not for another while. So here we're just going to continue just completely zooming it down. Here we will need to bridge over. And then here we will need to curve underneath just so we can go onto the other side of the road and as well because we need to curve under that river and also this road here too so from here we're just going to come straight through and we're going to go straight past acton bridge so we will go straight past something like this and then we will be able to get away with going over that but we will not be able to get away with going over that massive river so now we have up to run corn done so all the way over here will be liverpool lime street so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting just like all the others i'm going to be putting in all the platforms in first and just like that, that is all the platforms. So we're gonna head back over to Runcorn because we need to come over and we need to bridge all the way over and then curve all the way around just like this. And then we need to just come down to here tunnel underneath that main road and that road too and then from here we will just also just start going all the way around and from here we're just going to come around and avoid liverpool south parkway so we're going to continue coming up and just straight past all of these stations because we are going to come round up here now this will be a bridge over and this will come round underneath that road and through into edge hill so from here we are going to come round and we are also going to be going into the top two platforms at liverpool lime street just like this So now we have the entirety of the Liverpool, Manchester Piccadilly and Birmingham New Street into London Euston. And now we've got the three main lines done, we're going to be taking a break from Euston and we are going to be doing the crew branch lines. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be curving off the main line and be going up into Anglesey. So this one's going to be pretty much just single track. I'm going to come out for a second and I am going to go all the way over to Chester Station which will be located over here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick in one platform here and I'm just going to put in an extra one. Just in case we need it for transport for whales. So we're going to be connecting up with Chester and crew. So we're going to go back all the way down to crew and just by going pretty much in a straight line here. So now we're going to be curving around and across up here and through Calvary here. I'm actually kind of surprised I can actually do that. So we're going to be following closely to this river and we're going to curve up and then bridge over the river here or basically the canal and we're just going to come along this section here and then through and from up here we start to curve around like this and then from here we're going to curve down like here and then we're going to start curving back up just past the marina here going past the canal going past the canal here and then we're like curving off so from here we're just going to continue going up and then I'm just going to fix this in a second because that's the main line into Chester there. I say main line like this. There's a lot of trains going down this branch, but I mean, I guess there is because of uh, transport for Wales as well. But we aren't going to be talking about them for a lot longer because they will come in time. So we're going to need to bridge over this bit of the canal and we're going to be heading straight towards Chester here. Now I'm just going to quickly replace just into a tunnel like that. The next station along this main line will be Shotton, which is just located here. So I'm just gonna put this into the thing like this. The main reason why I'm adding it in is because I need to go past it on the main line here. But our actual next station is over here and it is Flint Station. So I'm just going to very quickly just link up these two stations because they're next to each other. So I'm just gonna put this around underneath all of that and then we will be just coming up to Shotton now or well not. but back to Chester because we want to come out this side and we want to immediately turn off the line so we're going to tunnel under this car park here and I'm just going to stay tunneled all the way through and then I'm going to immediately bridge up across the canal, I think that still is. And then we're going to come across and then bridge over. That seems to be a river. And then from here, we're just going to continue going straight here all the way over to Shotton and Flint. So we're going to come straight along here. The good thing with this being very straight is that it is literally just a straight line straight to where we need to go. The next station after this will be Preston, which is over here. That is definitely not how to that's definitely not how to say the station, but I am not Welsh, so I would generally not know how to pronounce it at all. So here we're gonna have two platforms and we're just going to have this go along. And then this will merge at some point into a single track. A single double track, I mean. Gosh, imagine that having a big ass main line like this and having it single track. That would generally be chaos. Actually, this can actually kind of fit two uh, lines at the same time. It probably actually does. But like here, it very much seems to be a single track. Definitely on Nimby Rails, it, it's not as wide as sometimes it thinks. We're going to quickly bridge over that and then move our way all the way down uh, through whatever town that is, Walwyn. So that means we are getting close. I actually got the wrong side there. So we're going to come straight like this. Nah, definitely wasn't straight, but now we've got like that two canal thing. And then we come into Flint like that. I'm just going to move this over so it's a bit quicker. Now, after all this, the next station will be real. So I'm going to put the station all the way back over here. And then put in the other platform for transport for Wales. So we're just going to put this out like this. Now I'm going to come back over here because it's not exactly a hard job to do this. Because it is just one straight line 
down to our next station and just like that we have reached it now the next station is colwyn bay but we need to go over here first because over here is the next station on the main line but luckily for us there is plenty of space to be going straight past it so that is exactly what we're going to be doing so i'm coming back all the way back to real here and i'm going to come around and a bridge straight over this and then we're going to come curving around through what looks like a massive estate and then from here we are just going to go straight down to our next station at Colwyn Bay. So we're going to put in the station something around here and we're just going to put in a, another platform for transport for whales as well. So we're just going to put this in like this and luckily for me because doing it on this side you can quite clearly see where the tracks go and on the other side it's quite easy because we are following a main road so at least it isn't too hard to do so now from here we're just gonna be following that through to Colwyn Bay now after this we're going all the way over here to Clan Dudno because up here will be the main station So we're going to be doing what we've been doing this entire time and just use this line up. And just like I said a minute ago, this is fairly easy because we're literally just following a main road all the way across. So at least it isn't too much of a hassle getting around the place. But I think what I might do is for the majority of this, just use one track and then spray split off around about here for the other platform. So the next station will be Conway Station. So I'm going to put it up all across like in this spot here. Yes, the station is down here, but it doesn't matter for us because we are not stopping there. And from here, I'm going to put this onto a viaduct and go all the way across into a tunnel just around the station, just like this. And then we're going to go to our next station. Well, when I say next station, it actually isn't our next station because we are skipping straight past the next two. So we're going to come around just like this. And we're just going to squeeze our way through this little gap here. And from here, we're just going to tunnel under the main road here. And we're going to go straight past. I'm going to go all the way down. And I'm going to tunnel back underneath the main road and then come straight around to something like this. And I'm going to come through here, then a little bridge over that, then into that station. And then we can focus on going to our next station, which will be Banger. So we're going to put these two platforms in. So we're just going to completely follow absolutely nothing here, but at least I can still see whereabouts to go. So we're just going to follow this line as per usual. So we're going to just tunnel under that section, unfortunately. And then we're going to tunnel underneath that road and then bridge over all this bit here. And I'm going to ground it and then go into a tunnel straight towards the station over here. Something just like that. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to tunnel back under here. And then from here, we are going to be curving around here, kind of like following the bit that kind of like splits angle C from mainland. Not exactly sure what it's called, but it's basically like the other white and the Solent. So what we're going to do is we're going to come across and we're going to tunnel underneath the main line, the main bridge, sorry, just like that. And then we're coming up to the, the longest name in the UK, because I believe it's now overtaken by some place in New Zealand. So now we're just going to 
just basically make our way over to our next station because I generally have zero idea. But this bit here does look like a train track, so I will be using it. So we're going to be bridging all the way across over here then curving up like this and going towards this station which will be going straight past so we're going to bridge over that and then we're going to go straight through and up around here because we are also going to go straight past that station and then we're going to go up and then straight past onto a bridge here just straight past and then we're just going to be going straight like this and we're going to go like around about here and then just up on a viaduct and then curve this way and then through across here back up onto a viaduct and then straight in this gap here and then our final destination is just up past this bridge because in this gap here is our final station so we're going to curve around like that and we're going to go straight towards the bridge over there so we now have the crew to holly head and the dam and now from here what we're going to do is we're going to be zooming in over down here just past Northwick because over here we are going to be curving off the current Avanti West Coast service and we're going to be just on our way straight through here where from here we're going to be going straight all the way into Warrington which is just coming up in a few seconds time so we're going to need to bridge over all of this across here and we're going to come back down and just up here will be the station it does appear that there is a another train line coming through here so we're just going to come into this platform here and instantly come straight out we're going to come round up here just follow the main line across here because our next station will be Wigan so we're going to follow it here and from here we're going to curve off so then we're just going to continue going through like this we're going to tunnel underneath this other road for some stupid reason oh but it's fine because we need to tunnel under this one too and we're going to curve up so you're going to go straight through this town. Continue going straight down here. Just like so. What we're going to do is we're going to put our station just under the ground here. Because there is another station just up here. And I'm just going to put that onto the higher level. So from here I'm just going to pull this across something like that. And we will just link up with it in a second. As you can see here, uh, we need to go underneath this park. And I'm going to just put us through up like that. So after Wigan Northwestern, we're just going to keep this in a tunnel for now. Until we come out to here. Just so it makes it a little bit easier. And I don't have to mess about with all the levels when I come back here and do the other lines. So we're just going to come straight through. And we're just going to go straight something like this. And just up we're not stopping here so we're just going to go straight past like this and then we're just going to go across this main road which is going to very quickly just change that and then I'm just going to go straight past Leyland here and up and then after this the next station will be Preston station where we will be stopping so we're gonna go straight across here we're gonna put ourselves onto a bridge straight all the way over that and in this spot here will be Preston station so I'm just gonna put this in just roughly around here 
and just put in a couple of platforms and then one extra too. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this platform here because I'm going to reserve this one for a, another train line. And then from here we're going to just curve out and over something like this. I'm just going to make this a little bit better in a second. So I'm just going to move that over a little bit and just give a little bit extra space down there. So after pressing, our next station will be a Lancaster. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put in one platform here. I'm going to put in another one just here. And we will be back in just a moment's time because we need to get there first. So this seems pretty much easy enough. We're just going to go like this and then we're going to curve over that and then we're going to go on a single track or a single double track all the way down to Lancaster so we're just going to do something like this really quickly even though I say really quickly but there's so many turns so it actually takes so much longer than what it normally would so we're just going to go through like this and then just continuing to go up and then we should be just curving around here and bridging over there and then into Lancaster station like that we're going to go all the way up here to Oxenholm where here we're going to put in the beautiful station of Oxenholm Lake District so we will be just back here in a moment's time, but I say a moment's time because we're going quite far up. So from here, we're going to continue going down here and we're just going to bridge over the river. And then we're going to go just out like here. We're going to go all the way around. And I'm going to go back over here. Oh, fuck. And just tunnel over this instead. So we're going to go continue along the line just up here. And switch over to the other side so we can go straight past Carnforth Station. And we're going to just go next to that. And I'm going to go up. So here we're going to tunnel underneath. I'm going to be on this side. So we're going to curve round up through this little section here. And we're going to curve round like this. And I see the point where we need to go. So I'm just going to link these two up. And do something like this. So I'm going to put it about there. So actually I'm on this side, so I'm going to do a curve just like that, and we're going to be straight and do something just like this. So from here we're going to curve around like here. So we're going to be curving something like this up around right just ignore that so i've just moved this over a little bit so we're going to continue around like through here and just underneath through like that then we're going to go across like through there and then, thankfully for me i can link it up just up there so i actually just got this slightly wrong because we need to be a little bit over something like that and we are basically in the lake district here so we're going to come just up round like this because our next station will be Carlisle which will be just over in here so we're going to put in a fair few platforms here just like this so basically what we need to do is we need to be tunneling 
under here and come up around about this section here so basically I'm just gonna have a straight tunnel to about here I'm gonna curve this up and put it in through like that this just makes it so much easier to deal with it because I'm not actually just going to do it fully correct from here I'm gonna curve like this I'm just gonna stay on a viaduct because we are going to be following the M6 here and to be quite honest I cannot be asked to actually do this part fully and properly so we're just going to do it something like this if there is like stations I'm missing between these places then I will go and add them back in but for now that isn't my worry so we're just going to come to Carlisle station here and I'm just going to opt for this one here so we're gonna just continue going straight down here and I will see that I need to come in from about here so I'm a little bit far off there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curve straight towards it and come in through Carlisle just like there. After Carlisle, our next station will be Lockerbie over here. So I'm just going to put in the station just in here. So we're just going to go straight through around and from there it's pretty much a guessing game. So from Carlisle we're going to go straight through here. And then just bridge across the main river. Well, that's not really the main river because we've got another one just here. So we're going to come through like this. And I think from here, I'm just going to do the exact same thing as we did earlier. And just follow. Well, this bit isn't too bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically just make up my own little route here. Because I do not fancy actually following the route there because it's just, it will be too long. And this video already is way too long. Uh, first of all, we are going to tunnel under this road and we are going to go straight up. After all of this, we are going to go all the way over to Glasgow but more specifically all the way over to Motherwell all the way over here because just here we will be putting in the main station at Motherwell so I'm just going to do something like this because from here we will be going straight to Glasgow but that is not just yet so after Lockerbie what we are going to do it's just like all the other ones is I am going to go on to my own little section because I generally cannot be asked. So I will see you close to Glasgow. So we are just next to Carstairs Junction at the moment and we're just going to link up our line that we have going down to Lockerbie, Carlisle and all the way down. Here we are at Carstairs Junction. This section will be going all the way up to Edinburgh and this section we will be using at the moment because we are going to very quickly go to Glasgow first. So what we're going to do is we're going to up onto a bridge all the way across here because we're going to go across through this little bit here. I don't know if it actually goes through here, but it's a lot easier for us if we do it like this. So we're going to go across this little section here. And I'm going to tunnel underneath all of this. And we are heading straight through into this station. And then from here, I'm going to 
bridge over that little whatever that was then we're going to curve around down here into this whole straight which will take us next to this station but into motherwell station all the way over here now from motherwell we can go all the way up to glasgow central which will be located in this spot just here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in multiple platforms here because we will be back in glasgow at some point whether that's for scott rail or any other national rail operators so we're going to take this straight out of glasgow station i'm going to instantly curve off and go all the way and hopefully uninterrupted we go all the way straight into glasgow central pretty much nice and easily so we're going to go across here above this little river and then and from here we're going to that looks like a station down there but we're just going to go straight through where, wherever this is that also looks like another station so i'm going to just leave that bit empty for now so i'm going to continue so we're gonna go across underneath and then uh, hopefully this is our final little bit here because we're going to start curving round and up here we're going to go onto a bridge and into glasgow central now we have the glasgow central section bit done we can now go ahead and do the edinburgh section so we're gonna go across like this but before we get into Edinburgh station we will be stopping at Haymarket which luckily for us is pretty much already built in so from here we're going to come up and tunnel under that little road because across here we will be putting our line so we're going to come up so we're going to tunnel under all of that and then we're going to just continue go up towards where we need to go which we curve through there and up through here and we're going to go straight through kirk newton because we will not be passing there and then should be coming up to another station which will be curry hill so we're going to just need to bridge out of that station and then we will be coming straight into another tunnel and then into you guessed it another tunnel straight through that station and then you guess it straight through that station and then onto a bridge through into Slateford station here and then from here it is just one I was going to say simple but it isn't simple because of course there's more roads that I have to go over and that will go straight into a haymarket there and then over in just this space here will be Edinburgh Waverley station so I'm going to put in the platforms just over here gonna do 250 meters for all of them just like this so I think what we're gonna do is we're going to use the uh, southern platforms and then we're going to just tunnel all the way through under all of these and just like that and that concludes the entirety of the Avanti West Coast. So because I've done this on separate days because this is extremely long to do because we're going from the pretty much the bottom of the country all the way up to Glasgow and Edinburgh. So the Birmingham New Street, Manchester Piccadilly and the Liverpool Lime Street all cost 1.1 billion and then the crew to Holyhead 385 million pretty much from crew side 
all the way up to Glasgow and Edinburgh cost 1.6 billion. So overall, the Avanti West Coast is costing 3 billion 182 million 612,000 and 84 US dollars. So we're going to build all blueprints and we are going to go ahead and do the line. So AWC, Avanti West Coast, just for short. So we're going to start off with Euston to Birmingham New Street. So I'm going to paste in the hex code for Avanti West Coast, which is this beautiful color. So we're going to go all the way down into Euston Station. So I've just added extra platforms into London Euston, just so it can keep up with the demand of all the trains coming through. So we're going to stop at London Euston. So our first station will be Watford Junction. So we're going to use that platform just for now. And I'm going to go all the way up to Milton Keynes. I'm going to just stop at Rugby Station, then Coventry, Birmingham International, and then Birmingham New Street. Then what we're going to very quickly do is just run back down the line and just get all of these added up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here. So I'm going to put in the nine car just here. I'm going to put in two trains just for now and add in another one just to make it close enough to hourly service as possible so that line will be completely done for now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to clone the line very quickly but take off everything between rugby and coventry i liverpool lime street service so we're going to go all the way up this line so our first station will be tamworth lichfield stafford then all the way up at crew and then all the way up to runcorn and liverpool lime street so just like before i'm going to put in three trains just to see how it is and then add in an extra and in another one to make it 56 minutes which is close enough to a train every hour now i'm going to clone this line again because we're going to manchester piccadilly so we're going to go up here find a run corn and just delete every run corn service there so now i'm going to go all the way up to Stoke on trent macclesfield stockport and manchester piccadilly now from here we're going to go back on ourselves through macclesfield stoke on trent and that should be good for now now we're going to put on four trains and we're just going to put on one extra to make it just like the liverpool one every 56 minutes so now we're going to go back to the liverpool long street one because we're going to clone that one again because we're going to go to glasgow central so we're going to delete runcorn and liverpool street so we're going to go up this line so we're going to go through Warrington bank key we're going north western preston Lancaster, Carlisle, Lockerbie, then through all the way to Motherwell and into Glasgow Central. And just like that, we have Euston to Glasgow Central. So I'm going to put five trains in and another four, which is one hour two, which is pretty close to every hour. I'm going to open this up for passenger service. I'm going to clone this one because we need to go to Edinburgh Waverley. I'm going to find the last Lockerbie, so we're going to delete Motherwell, Glasgow, and the other Motherwell platform. So we're going to go up this line here, and we're going to be stopping at Haymarket and Edinburgh Waverley, and then we're going to bounce back to Haymarket, and that will be all done. So just like that, I'm going to put nine trains in, and it's the exact same as well. So we're going to open that one up for passenger service, and for our final line to do here, we will be putting the crew to Hollyhead. so we're going to start off on this platform over in crew we're going to go straight all the way over to chester then go all the way up to flint then this then that then colwyn bay then clan dodno junction then bangor and all the way up to Hollyhead. now we just go back down the line just simply and we go through flint and through chester and then we go back into crew i'm going to put one train on two trains on just to make it as close to every hour as possible so i'm going to open up passenger service and for some dumb reason the time it keeps glitching out but i will see you the following day and we'll see how much money the Vancey west coast makes in a single day so basically i did simulate a full day and i realized the pricing wasn't that great so the base ticket price was five and the price per kilometer was 0 0.1 so i bumped it up to 10 and 0.5 and now the crew to hollyhead makes 834,085. the birmingham new street makes 678,181. the edinburgh waverley makes 2.5 million and the glasgow makes 2.2 million and the liverpool lime street makes 1.8 million and then so does the manchester to piccadilly so it makes 9.9 .9 million in 
total. And just like that, we have completed the Avanti West Coast services. I'll be back next episode with doing the C2C. The C2C isn't as long as the Avanti West Coast. I believe it's like only as long as the Birmingham New Street branch. So it shouldn't take too long. Anyways, I will see you all then. So catch me in the next episode. Goodbye.